What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about Road to the Show and I want to talk about player ratings within Road to the Show and how to determine what exactly is going on with your players' ratings within the game. And the reason for that is because there's a lot going on between your player archetype and the loadout that you have for your player and the equipment that you can equip to your players. So for the basics here, we're going to get basic ratings for your player within the game, but you're also going to get your loadout, which is going to give you boosts to your player ratings. And so, for example, here I have the Speedy Slickster with Contact 1, Speed 1, and Speed 1 adjustments to that, which you can see are giving me pluses to each of these categories. So for Contact 1, for example, it's giving me plus 1 Contact Right, plus 1 Contact Left, and plus 2 Clutch. Now, the key to understanding your player's ratings within this game is to understand what is actually combined in your ratings on your player card. So let's go ahead and take a look at our player card real quick so we can get an idea of what's going on here. You can see very quickly and very easily what's going on with our player card and our player ratings. You can see that for each bar, and we'll take a look at contact right, for example, there is a solid orange area, or for your defensive stats, green, and for your athleticism stats, blue, there is a solid area and then there is an area that is highlighted with arrows. So you can take a look at contact right where most of it is solid orange and there's a little bit of it that is orange arrows. And likewise, we can take a look at our speed rating over there on the right, which is an 80, which is about half blue, but half of it is blue arrows. And so what that's coming from is exactly what I just showed you guys in our loadout. Whenever we take a look at our loadout, you can see that we are getting plus 33 speed off of just this fielding attribute alone. We're also getting plus three off of speed one and plus three off of this speed one. So in total, we're getting 39 additional speed just from our loadout. And so the way to read that on your play card is unfortunately there's not an exact number however you can do the math and subtract back we are getting 39 speed off of our upgrades that is pretty clear to see in our speed rating it's about half and half we have an 80 rating in speed we know that 39 of it is coming from our loadout so you can guess that our base speed rating is 41 you don't have to do the math however you just simply need to look here and see what your rating is and you can get a general idea of what's coming from your base player ratings which is affected by your gameplay and whenever you get bonuses in game like let's say you get a good hit it's going to give you additional contact or additional power if you steal a base it's going to give you bonuses to your speed whenever you train in between weeks you're going to get bonuses to whatever you train that'll go to your base rating which goes directly into the solid part of that rating and does not change depending on which loadout you have now that 39 speed from my loadout can be taken away by simply switching to another loadout. So switching over to another loadout, you can see that my speed has pretty much mostly gone away. I'm now down to 44. I do still have a base level of competency within each of my attributes, though. You can just see that the bonuses have shifted around, and this is purely from changing my loadout. But where things get a little bit complicated is how this factors into your player's overall and how equipment factors into these various attributes as well. The thing to really know is that your player's overall is only dictated by your loadout combined with your base competency, which is what I'm calling the name for the solid parts of these bars, your actual player rating for each of these things. So my player's 67 overall is purely the combination of my loadout and my base player rating. So if I want to increase my overall back from a 67 to the 71 or 72 that I was at before, I have to then switch my loadout back to what I had it as before where I was getting multiple bonuses and that will take me back up to that 72 overall. Where things get a little bit different 
important is in the top right here where your equipment is, is when you start to introduce equipment into the equation, your equipment is only ever going to factor in as in-game bonuses. So you're never actually going to see a modification applied to your players overall based on your equipment. So if I go in here and I equip various different pieces of equipment that are going to improve my player's performance within the game, it is going to take my in-game performance up. It is going to give me bonuses to the way my player plays and you will see those applied within the game. So if I add anything here that gives me additional contact or additional speed, you'll see that show up within the game and that is going to change the way your player plays. So as you can see here, I've now added a whole bunch of equipment to my player, but none of that equipment is actually factoring into my rating. I'm still technically a 72 overall player. However, when we go to my player card, we will see some new stats popping up for my player and you will see above each bar there is a plus that you're getting and those pluses with the ball and the bat behind them are what is being applied based on your equipment so for example i'm getting plus 18 to contact on both sides from my equipment alone now that is not being added into the rating so i have 49 contact right simply based off of my base stat plus my loadout and then in game I get an additional 18 on top of that to my performance within the game so whenever I'm actually batting versus a lefty for example I'm going to actually have 68 contact show up within the game but that will never show up on your player card you will only ever see your base rating plus your loadout on your player card and this is incredibly important to understand because your player's rating within the game matters significantly. You're not going to technically increase your player's overall at all with your equipment. However, you will increase your performance with that equipment because you will get bonuses. It is, however, extremely important, like I mentioned, to know your player's overall and what exactly is factoring into that player overall because it will determine how quickly you can get called up to the major league roster. When we take a look at center fielders, for example, I am now a 72 overall, a potential 18-year-old player. That is crucial to understand in terms of how quickly I can get called up. How good is my overall compared to other players within the league and within the team? That is going to determine very heavily how quickly you can get called up because you're going to want your ratings to be adequate enough for the team to feel comfortable adding you to the next level of their roster. Ultimately, though, to summarize why that really matters for you within Road to the Show is because with equipment, I am playing like a player that has 68 contact on both sides because I'm getting these major bonuses. But my player, as the organization sees, only has 49 and 50 contact on both sides. Likewise, I'm playing like a player that has 92 speed because I have an 80 rating plus 12 bonus from my equipment. So I truly am playing like a player that has 92 speed. However, the organization recognizes that I only have 80 speed. The organization is only going to recognize the numbers that are actually showing up on your player card. And that is going to be why things get a little bit confusing and a little bit wonky. Just know that you can see what bonuses you're getting here. You'll see your bonuses applied within the game, but they will never be applied to your player card. They will never be combined in with these ratings and therefore those equipment bonuses will not factor in to your rating whenever a organization is considering where you are and how quickly you can get called up. And the final bit of information that I wanted to put in here that I noticed I did not include while I was editing this video the first time here is that the base competency, as I call it, your base rating for every single attribute across the board can go no higher than a rating of 50. And you'll notice that whenever you are training within the game from a week to week basis, whenever you get to that 50 mark, and you're trying to train a specific attribute, you will see that you can't go above that 50 mark. And that is actually really important to consider because anything that goes above 50 for any one of your ratings is going to have to come from your loadout 
or it's going to have to come from your equipment. And that is really the end challenge of Road to the Show is that you have to pick and choose where you want to allocate your attributes because you're never going to be able to be a 99 in every single category because of that limit at 50 for each one of your base attributes. Hopefully you found this information useful in some way. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and a comment down below as well. I'll see you guys as always in the next video, and I hope you have a good one.